Guy, this is Cyberhorn92 here. Hope everyone have a wonderful day. Today we got a wonderful top 16 at YCS Charlotte. And would you like to introduce yourself? What you did at this YCS? Mm, uh, I top. Uh, I made it to top 16. Uh, my name is Jorge Gonzalez, and I'm from Puerto Rico. Oh, nice! And that was your first YCS, right? Yeah, my first uh, YCS, my experience. Wow, yeah. that's crazy! And what deck did you play for this um, event? Uh, I decided to play uh, Trap Eldritch. All right, just just like pure Eldritch, right? Yeah, pure like uh, just uh, just uh, by monsters, uh, just the Eldritch, uh, the 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 Elders, I mean. All right, for sure, for sure. And um, do you remember um, uh, what was your record um, after day one? After day one, I finished uh, seven two. Okay, that's pretty good. And do you remember your matchup during that rounds? Uh. Well, no, for, uh, no. I, I just remember my losses. <laughs> All right, it's okay, it's okay. All right, um, let's get started with that wonderful deck profile. Sure, I will start with my uh, monsters. I just use uh, three golden lords. Uh, white tree because uh, sometimes I went to see it uh, on my hand uh, going second. Because that way I can like uh, bait uh, negates from my opponent, and after I bait the negate, I can like start playing yeah, and okay. stuff like that. Um, also, uh, mm -hmm. if I start with it uh, on the hand mm -hmm. and add land uh, two, mm -hmm. I can like uh, pay eight hundred, mm -hmm. uh, search conquistador effect, send conquistador with him, mm -hmm. uh, pop. Uh, I mean send effect mm -hmm. of Edlin, send. Uh, Paquero. That way, uh, in the end phase, I have to. I can search two, but uh, some oldish players search two sanguines. But me, I I play the other elixirs, mm -hmm. so That's true. that way I can search more stuff. Yeah, for the three golden lord, was there a time that like, do you think three was the perfect number? Usually, most players play two. Uh yeah, three was the perfect. Uh, was the perfect number, man. Uh, sometimes. Um. Uh, I opened two, but well, I managed to win anyway, so that's true. it was a <laughs> yeah. That's true. Yeah, when uh, mm -hmm. huh? Oh me? yeah, oh yeah, and also when watching the feature match, like you had all three golden lords, because like if you didn't have three of them, you would be like have a grinding position. You have to wait for the turn after, but you don't want that. You want to try to finish your opponent as soon as possible. Yeah, exactly. Because uh, I was like uh, two minutes uh, on the clock, mm -hmm. and I have to make. Uh, uh, much damage as possible. Uh, yeah, I make a mistake on that uh, <clears throat> on that fishing match that uh, I activate a sanguine and search from hand. That's not possible because he's from the guard warrior. But uh, <clears throat> I still either uh, will be able to make uh, enough damage to win in That's that true. turn. That's true. Also, uh, in that uh, same game, he griffins on the battle phase and he can griffin the battle phase to summon. Oh, I didn't know about that part. Thanks for yeah, I, I I didn't realize until I I watched the stream myself and mm -hmm. hear like uh the the commentators. Mm, makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. So to continue uh <clears throat> with with the spells, I use uh three headlands mm -hmm. standard just to start my combos. Well, there's not a lot of combos, but yeah. To like start my engine going. The other uh, elixirs I use uh, one black destiny, uh, black awakening, and one white uh, white destiny. Uh, the one that um, I used the uh, the less it was black awakening, but sometimes it was clutch because I activate black awakening and with Edlan I search the counter. Mm. And with the counter, that way I can protect like the floodgates. That's true. That's true. And white destiny, as you saw on the stream, uh, it was clutch when I uh, send Golden Lord to the grave, target the token uh, to send. He chain called by the grave as chain link two, mm -hmm. and I as chain link three, I activate destiny. That way, uh, reviving the targeted uh, Golden Lord, and he resolved because called by the grave will not be removing. So that's I still true. send the token. Wow, so it was that's good. powerful. Yeah. Good counter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, three extravagance and two prosperity. That's the line of pots. Yeah. 
Sometimes they conflict, but uh, the theory behind using this lineup is uh, to see more extravagance than prosperity. And also, if I take prosperity uh, extravagance and get like ash or negated, I can activate uh, the prosperity in hand. All right, makes sense, makes sense. Because you really want to see your draw power cards as fast as possible. Exactly, yeah. I want like to keep drawing or searching my deck. T uh, yeah, mm -hmm. searching my deck. Uh, for the trap cards, I use uh, three Ice Dragon Prisons. This this was clutch against uh, all DP matchups. Uh, one of the Sky, uh, Sky Striker players uh, before entering top 32 on game one. I went against him because uh, on his turn, before destroying his uh, Hayate, I Ice Dragon Prisons and revived the, the Ray. So he will no longer be like triggering the race effect. Oh my god, that's so nasty! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh, I I make a lot of thinking behind the deck. Yeah, that's so true. Uh, true. Uh, for the solemn brigade, I use three strikes and three judgment. Yeah, this is too much, like too much, like uh, paying life points. But it doesn't matter if you want like to control the game and still like be beating with the eldritch. So it's yeah, okay. Now for the floodgates, I use nine, uh, three goes and match, three there can only be one, and three skill drains. Uh, just nine is okay because you want to see floodgates, but you don't want to see like uh, too many. So you want to see like one or two, maybe mm -hmm. that's okay. I choose, uh, we choose this nine. I'm, uh, I say we choose by, because, uh, another player helped me make the deck. Mm -hmm. Well, he make it. I just, I'm the player who use it. So, yeah. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> but we choose this nine because, uh, these ones are like the ones that cover most the matchups against the whole meta. Mm -hmm, that's true. Um, oh, a quick question about there coming me one. Um, was there coming me one was really effective? Um, this um format for this YCS. You mean like the floodgates? Yeah, yeah, the, the kind yeah. Of skill is def definitely skilling was the more effective. Definitely. Okay, okay. Was there a time that like you couldn't activate your golden lens? Um, since you're under golden lord or um uh, other stuff you couldn't summon since they're the same type. No. Uh, you mean by the summon restriction? Oh uh, yes. Yep. Uh, no, because I uh, I was making sure that I always activate those cards and the open storm. Oh, okay, okay, that makes sense. Makes sense. The only the only way I activate in my turn is uh, Black Awakening or the White Destiny. But the White Destiny is just in case they like did it crow my Eldritch or. How you see in the streaming, the, mm -hmm. the Call by the Grave. Mm -hmm. That's the only time when I use my White Destiny on my turn. Okay. Usually I just say it. Yeah. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, and now for the um, the Eldish lineup, I mean the Eldish, no, the Lexer and the Golden Lands. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> for the Golden Lands, I use uh, six, uh, three Conquistador, two Huacuero, and one Golden Land Forever. Yeah, this lineup is uh, standard for almost uh, Trap Eldritch. This one, uh, some players don't use it. Uh, I mean, it's up to the player. Mm -hmm. But it was clutch for me, uh, mm -hmm. the whole uh, YCS, because I was like always protecting my floodgates mm -hmm. or negating uh, clutch cards for the opponent. So. Mm -hmm. That that's give me game, so it was like, okay. It that's was like, good. That's like basically like four some judgment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's why I was telling almost all my opponents that mm -hmm. they were like uh, ask, uh, asking me about the golden life forever. I, I say I said them, uh, it's just like a sudden judgment, but without paying life and, and without uh, negating the salmon. So, <laughs> <laughs> and the last three cards are the last uh, the sanguines. All right, and this is forty cards. I believe so. Uh, excuse me? Oh, uh, is that 40 cards in your main deck? Yeah, 40 oh. main deck, yeah. Okay. I don't need more. Yeah, before getting, <laughs> before getting to your um, sign and extra, I was surprised you don't play uh, No Heavenly Prison. What's your uh, theory on that? Uh, it's just that 
Since I use three Eldritch the Golden Lords, uh, if you use like heavy prison with three mm -hmm. Golden Lords, it mm -hmm. may like conflict in the hand because we'll see like too many monsters. Mm -hmm. And you want like to control the game with setting cards, not with monsters in hand. That's true, that's true. If, if, I, if I wanted like a build uh, with monsters in hand, I will run uh, like a hand trap Eldritch build. Mm -hmm. So. That's uh. true, that's true. You can go to the yeah. side or extra, it's up to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with the side deck now. Uh, my tech cards for the YCS, uh, I mean tech cards because this usually don't see like play in many decks, mm -hmm. many elder decks, mm -hmm. is, uh, two dimensional barriers and two shadow impression mirror. Shadow impression mirror for my, uh, uh, PK matchups. I play against like one or two. I don't remember quite well, but. I never resolved it, but it was okay because I, in my mind, it was like, ah, eh, it's like a skill drink against them. I have like <laughs> five skill drink against them, so it's okay. <laughs> <true>. <laughs> and the D barrier came clash against a sorcerer player because uh, I waited uh, when they resolved the the water sorcerer. I don't know the name. Mm -hmm. I wait for her effect to create a token, and when she created the token in resolution, I activate barrier, barrier called call synchro, and for that turn, mm -hmm. they cannot summon synchros. And the token restriction is that while well, she has the token, she can uh, she can only summon like synchro monsters. So mm -hmm. his turn was basically over. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Uh, to want to spill fragments. This is just like uh, for decks that basically, yeah, basically all, almost all the decks use a lot of spells. So almost all the time when I don't have like uh, cards to side in, I put these ones in. So they help a lot. Yeah, sure. And plus it slow down your opponent so you get like a couple of turns. Exactly, yeah. Uh, the last trap cards on my side deck uh, are to evenly match. This is the game clutch a lot of times. Uh, I just use this, just obviously, to go second. And against other trap heavy decks or like slow decks, uh, like for example, uh, Sky Striker or Invoke. Because I play against an Invoke player. Yeah. And uh, the other card, a very good choice, Harpy Feather Duster. The same as the Heavenly Match. Like for removing all those spell and track cards. Uh, and for monsters in the side deck, I have three lava golems and two uh, sphere modes. This lineup, yeah, you can ask me, you can ask me like, why not, like, why not three sphere modes? Mm -hmm. Just that three might be too much since I use three. Golden Lord, so yeah. we decided to use just two and three Lava Golems. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, uh, my opponents uh, carry in mind the possibility of the Sphere Mode, and always on them phase, they declare like the DPE effect to pop DPE and their own Anaconda. Mm -hmm. That way, almost all the time, they, ha they had like two monsters. That's true. Unless, unless they were uh, playing the Brave uh, Engine, Mm -hmm. And they leave like the token and the griffon. Mm -hmm. That's the only way that I have like the sphere mode life. So that's true. That's true. Um, I was, but huh? yeah, I was surprised. Uh, you don't play um the kaiju the the wind. What mean you don't want to play that? Yeah, uh, you mean the ka the kaiju what? Uh, the kaiju wind. It's the one you just tribute your opponent. Like, um, was there a time when you up against a flunderine? They have berry statue where you have an out to it besides uh, your floodgates card. <laughs> Interesting. I didn't think about it. Uh, mm -hmm. I played against like uh, three Flunderids or two. Mm -hmm. I just lost to one of them. Uh, uh, the only one, uh, the only time I lost, uh, uh, the time I lost, it wasn't because of the Barry statue. Mm -hmm. It was because on turn one, I said five, you know, the usual said five, pass. Mm -hmm. He activates Lightning Storm. Oh, on his first turn on the first game, and like, oh my god, Dang. he's playing <laughs> Linus Sermain. Like, I saw in judgment. Wow, he activates, he activates duality, 
and uh, reveals another line story. Right? Like, well, this is game one. Let's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and on game two, it happens almost the same, but I slow it down with a uh, anti spell. But still, he resolved um, an uh, harpy feather duster pass and lightning oh, storm. Oh wow, that's crazy! Yeah, and, yeah, and he won me two zero. But well, I can handle it if he had it on the main deck. He had it right. That's true. That's true. Yeah, and for the extra deck, I only use uh, four links, uh, two link spiders. These are good because uh, you know uh, sending the golden lands. Also, I play two just in case I, I remove one with the extravagance. Uh, Lina is good uh, because of the Golden match. Also, she came clutch in one of the rounds because uh, my opponent with uh, the Adventure Continuous spell, he sent Nibiru to the graveyard. Mm -hmm. He passed. Right after making a storm, I make a Lina, and with Lina effect, I revive the Nibiru he discarded. And like, okay, I'm gonna win you. I'm gonna win with your own Nibiru. So <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, and the last one is a uh, Vampire Sucker. I never summon it, but it's okay just to make sure I have it on my extra because I can make like a I can make like a small lockdown with her and. Uh, Ghost and Mash or there can only be one. I can like summon, uh, revive one monster from your graveyard, make a zombie, and then activate uh, my cards, uh, my floodgates. Mm, makes sense, makes sense. Yeah. Now for the Xyz, uh for the rank fives, two Pleiades, or Pleiades, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> and two Tiras. Uh... The theory behind this, uh, obviously, this one is the better one because it's like, it's like an, an interruption. Mm -hmm. But the theory behind Tiras is uh, anti spell fragments. Mm -hmm. Because with anti spell fragments, I activate right in his turn. He will set cards in my turn. I make it battle phase, attack, uh, end of battle phase, or when she triggers, pop mm -hmm. one of the phase downs and main phase two. I make Zeus. Detach, send all the spells he sets. Oh my gosh, that's yeah. our big brain, big brain. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For the rest of the exits, well, the rank 10s, I use three Gustavs and one Leap. Why three Gustavs is the same as the theory behind the Link Spiders. Like uh, the fear of removing the Gustav with extravagance. Yeah, and one of the matches against the PK, he was down to 5,000. I make the good staff with two Golden Lords, detach, 2,000. He was at 3,000. Make leap, detach the other Golden Lord. He was 6,000, and he was 3,000 life points. So 6,000 to his two last monsters. Whoa. That it was like uh, two small monsters, I don't remember. Yeah. Yeah, it was crazy. Uh, the last one, a tech card, uh, Utopic Dark Infinity. This card helped me uh, regain my life points uh, because uh, her effect is like uh, you target one monster you control. Yeah, one face up special monster you control, but I mean, I never normal summon, so any monster I control, basically. And I gain life point equal to their or initial attack. So basically, if I target one Eldritch, mm -hmm. I will gain back 2005. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's good also it has its first effect that it's like a Goyo Guardian effect mm -hmm. where if I destroy a monster by battle I can detach a material and spare summon that monster for example a good a scenario a scenario could be like uh, if my opponent's DPE uh, activate effect you know mm -hmm. that sometimes they don't like pop the same DPE they pop another card right mm -hmm. yep if that happens, I will make uh, sure I will use this card against him because uh, that moment I will attack the DPE mm -hmm. effect, destroy the after destroying the DPE by battle, the detach. I will revive the DPE. Okay, okay. And, yeah. And how many games have you won with that card during your round? So? Uh, I never summon it, but 
Uh, I could have something about since I was almost in control almost all the time. Mm -hmm. I never <clears throat> seen a break, but it was present that I could like summon it on my rounds. True, true, true. But it was okay to just uh, have it on my extra deck. And the last two cards are the two suits. Yeah, two suits just uh, for the extravagance. Just mm -hmm. to make sure if I banish one, I have the second one. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Um, before ending this video, uh, do you, would you change anything about your build? No, the build uh, was okay. Uh, the only thing I, w I will change, it was like uh, the top 16. Mm -hmm. I didn't like top uh, because of the build. I top because of my mistake. Mm -hmm. I like for a mistake, said that there can only be one instead of a solemn judgment in my hand mm -hmm. against a prank pick. Uh, prank kid player mm -hmm. and there can only be one doesn't do anything against them so yeah, that's true, that's true. it wasn't my mistake i was like about to shuffle my cards in my hand about to settle about to set the judgment mm -hmm. and by accident i don't know like shuffling the hand mm -hmm. i said that there can only be one and like oh, oh my god dang that's that's that, that's that's awful to hear but but you learn your mistake uh but next yeah time you, that, that's what my friends tell me that we mm -hmm. learn from their mistake we just mm -hmm. make sure to not uh, make them again and improve mm -hmm. that's true that's true um before ending this video do you want to give any shout outs yeah uh shout outs to christian santiago that's the player that helped me build the deck uh shout out to my people in puerto rico my friends and shout outs to my family yeah because i love my family <laughs> sounds good thank you for the deck profile and congrats on time yeah. 16 again and your boy cyberhorn 92 is signed now peace all 